Hey everybody, getting ready to go down to LA. I'm in the car, I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna have some adventures today. I don't know what we're gonna see yet. I'm hoping to go to a Middle Eastern shop and check out some new stuff, maybe get some stuff for taste test videos. I don't know yet, but uh, just thought I'd do a little intro and get you guys on board. It is, what time is it? It is quarter after 10 and making the drive. It's a little, little cloudy out. Little little summer fog, which was normal for here. So um, let's get this adventure started. Okay, you guys, I just had to show you this because downtown LA today is looking amazing. Look at the clouds, look at the buildings, look at the traffic, but anyway. It looks amazing. So, this is what it looks like at midday. It's now one thirty-five. It's not even rush hour. This is LA downtown traffic. Constant all the time. Annoying as shit. But the clouds are pretty. And note the skyline because it's gonna be changing soon. We're gonna have a new tallest building on the west coast. Hey guys, we made it. We are down in Atwater Village, which is close to Griffith Park in Los Angeles. I'm here at India, what the heck is it called? I can't even read it. Sweets and Spices. I can't read it backwards in the, in the camera. So uh, we're here on uh, Los Feliz Boulevard, as you guys can tell. It is a very busy street. It's a big street. Uh, gonna see what we can find today, find anything interesting. And uh, let's go inside. I got my bags, I'm ready to go. Not a lot of people in the store right now, so I thought I'd do this real quick. Give you guys a, a whole view, beauty items, religious items, a whole wall, all kinds of good stuff in here. Cooking utensils, sauces. More beans than you can imagine what to do with. Lentils, black beans, mung beans, among beans, all kinds of good stuff. Let's see. All kinds of stuff here. I keep talking so they have the top of the radio. Can you tell it's hot in here? I'm sweating. Anyway, I just want to show you. Check out the tea, tea, teas, all the tea, tea, tea. All this is tea. 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 Lots of tea. What would an Indian store be without spices? Spices, spices. Thousands of spices. Over here, spices. It is hot as India in here. Yes, those pots are as big as they look. They're about a foot and a half tall and three feet wide. Crazy. Huge. 23 kilograms, $579. All right, and a final parting shot of me sweating in here because I'm in the valley and it's hot. I just want to let you guys know they also have fresh vegetables. Very nice service here. One more look around. And I'm gonna sneak out the back door. 
where my car is. All right, you guys, on to the next adventure. I forgot to show you my goodie bag. And that all the baskets are from Toys R Us. How fabulous. Okay, so I just came out back to get in my car, and then I, you know, sometimes you don't want to know what's behind the curtain. Like, the amount of trash underneath these vans or around the back of the store, it just frightens me. All right, you guys, it's taking a little bit of time to get over here, but I am in Glendale now and doing a little Persian shopping at the Golden Market. I almost missed the place. I went around the block twice to find it. I thought it was a big store. It's a little store. So let's go check it out. It's very quiet in here. And there's a lot of syrup. It's a kind of a tiny market. It's tiny. Some really nice produce, nuts. So the Golden Market was a little rough. It's a little off-putting, not so friendly. The mom that was running the store was kind of a pain in the ass. The daughter seemed very nice. She rang me up, she smiled. Which is more than I can say for a lot of the other customers in there, but whatever. Um, let's take a look. I'm gonna flip you around here and show you in the bag. What's in the bag? What's in the box? Um, basically, I got some breads. I got a little ice cream to try. Some cookies. The normal stuff. You know, you guys will be able to check it out. All right, I am done for shopping for today, I think. It is time to buzz back downtown and then pick up some people and maybe have some dinner. Prologue, star date. No. Um, just thought I'd show you guys my little ice cream here. I'm kind of excited because if you can tell, I'm sweating. It is hot. It's Los Angeles. It is the valley. It is Glendale. Let's taste this thing. Okay, so this is the wrapper and this is the saddest ice cream cone ever. Maybe it's just a different culture. It's vanilla. Let me set it down so I can read the bag to you. Okay, so I finally found the, the information I was looking for here. So this is a product of Lithuania. And I will show you a picture here of the man on the ice cream box because it was kind of funny. But anyway, so this is the vanilla. This is the Dadu. The Dadu vanilla. Um, it has 180 calories. It has... It's freaking ice cream. You guys get it. Okay. So it's all the normal stuff imported by Canada. Well, there you go. All right. In the creepy little cup. There you go. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Okay, you're going to laugh. It tastes like... You guys see that? It's soggy. It tastes like a soggy McDonald's ice cream cone that was made like three hours ago. Taste vanilla. It tastes just like McDonald's, which is really funny. So there you go. There's my whole review of the Dadu Vanilla Ice Cream Cone in like 20 seconds. Um, it's vanilla. It's cheap. It's in a squishy cone. And it's totally making my day right now. Bye. So because you don't want to be a dipshit all the time, sometimes it's fun just to follow a sign or two and see where you end up here in Glendale. I was driving I'm still driving the car is on got the air conditioning on it's hot and I saw signs for the Adobe Reyes historical landmark I have no idea what this is I will put some information there but I thought I'd show it to you guys I am filming without a permit I am so busted anyway apparently it's a historical Adobe all right let me flip the camera around so somehow this is historical it's probably one of the original land settlements of California. Not too much to see right now as it's closed. 
take a little drivey drive down here since you can't see much else anyway. And this just inspires me to, got some cool lights here. This just inspires me to um, do a little research. So there you go, there's the Adobe. Here it is. It's kind of weird because it's in the middle of a neighborhood here. Casa Adobe. So we'll have to do some research. Man, it's right in the middle of a neighborhood. Bum -bum. It's dinner time and we're going to the hummus bar. Gonna get some hummus and some meats and some. It's been a world tour today. Thank you. Everyone get the sights? Yes. 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 Everyone. All right, so this is the Romanian, which is beef with lots of garlic. we got the chicken, the beef. And what did you get? Chicken, blah, 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 blah. Chicken, blah, 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 in a big pot pie thing. And then, of course, we had the hummus, it's gone, potatoes, all kinds of good stuff. All right. Nice and chicken. It's rush chicken. And what would a day be without a complete stop in the valley at the mall? Some friends having some drinks. And some Apple store, some giant TV. All kinds of good stuff. Topanga Mall. What'd you drink? This is, I don't know what this is. Is it this? <laughs> it's that one. Mmm, it is. And bartender, right, and mall, and drinking, and drinking. It's my new friend. She's looking at me. That's creepy. That's so good. <laughs> All right, so this concludes today's adventure in the mall. It's closing, it's hot, and I'm done. I wanna go home. There's a reason I don't hang out in malls at the end of the day. Oh, as you can tell, it's getting darker. Bye.